Hi everybody, it's Big Mama Sag from Fireside Tarot. Hope everybody's well. If you're new to our channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So we're going to throw down some cards for Scorpio for their Julian New Year reading. And if you're asking yourself what the hell the Julian New Year is, well, before we switched over to the Gregorian calendar about 400 years ago, New Year's was celebrated um, the last week in March from like the 25th of March to the 1st of April. Not unlike how we celebrate New Year's today at the end of December, but neither here nor there. We'll get more into that history lesson when Neon and I do our live reading for the renewal of the Zodiac Cycle on March 31st. Super excited. We can't wait. Not sure what time it's going to go down yet. It all depends on how early Neon feels like getting out of bed that morning. So, <laughs> anywho, I'm going to stop babbling about all that noise. Sorry. I get something out of my way here. I figured out how to sync my Chromebook to my phone so my text messages pop up. So I don't have to keep looking back at my phone. Anyway. Scorpio. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you with the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Please keep in mind, if it doesn't resonate, which it might not, and that's okay, because this is general. It's not going to resonate with every Scorpio. You can just throw the reading out all together. Don't ever think about it again. Pay no attention to it. Just put it out of your head. Or you can check your moon rising or Venus signs. But keep in mind the time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Or you can just check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. You know, whatever you want to do. Okay. Let's throw down your cards, Scorpio. getting late. I'm a little tired. And I've been trying to do this for like two hours. <laughs> keep getting interrupted. People keep calling. Knight of Cups upright. The shadow side reversed. In the Witch's Tarot, the shadow side is the devil card. So, Scorpio. Someone maybe coming with a new offer of love but something tells me that you may be disconnecting from a very powerful connection with someone else could be a Capricorn doesn't have to be cups also indicates a water sign that may be talking about you or another water sign person so whoever might be resonating with that aspect of the reading okay I'm going to put this so you guys can actually see it, though. There we go. Okay. Is that better? It's kind of a long ways away, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. What was Scorpio supposed to take out of last year? King of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. I have to get some clarity on that. This may have been a revocation of an offer or something wasn't exactly as it presented itself to be. Again, we'll get clarity. What was your shining moment? Five of Swords. Change. Could be a change in thoughts. Picking up the pieces. What did you have to let go of? Sun reversed. Could have been a Leo. You may have had to let go of some not so happy times. Hmm. What can you expect from this year? Three of Pentacles reversed. Something does not quite coming together. 
What's the challenge? Queen of Cups reversed. A lot of reversed cards. I don't know what's up with that, guys. The challenge could possibly be not being so emotionally withdrawn from a situation. Again, we will get clarity. How can you overcome this? Seven of Cups reversed. Confusion? Letting go of options? Huh, okay. What does Scorpio need to focus on during the transition period from Pisces into Aries? King of Swords in the upright. Making logical head over heart decisions. Could be an air sign person involved, doesn't have to be. How do you handle the transition? Fool. Okay. We'll leave this till the end. Oh, what are we going to clarify with tonight? I like the Gilded Duck. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, Universe, Source, Spirits. Can we get some clarity for Scorpio? Clarity for the cards on the table for Scorpio. Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Well, wow. okay. This could possibly be someone coming forth with an apology or a reuniting celebration. Okay. Could be, doesn't have to be. I don't know that Three of Cups uh, could indicate a third party situation. I don't want to scream that from the rafters at this point. Definitely an offer. I just take it however it resonates, guys. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here for what Scorpio was supposed to take out of last year? Star reversed. One more. Full reversed. Something may have happened. You couldn't trust it. Something was, wasn't was as big as it was made out to be. You couldn't trust it. I think you came to realize that. You may kind of be kicking yourself. But don't. I wouldn't recommend kicking yourself over that. If someone's feeding you a line of garbage and you bought into it, that's not necessarily your fault. not 
I mean, it is, but don't kick yourself in the butt. Just know better next time. I don't believe people make mistakes. I believe people stumble on their path, but I don't believe in mistakes because you're just led in wisdom. You're supposed to learn a lesson from it. Why is the Five of Swords here for Scorpio's shining moment? Two of Wands. One more. Hi. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Again, I don't believe in mistakes. I believe in missteps that kind of make us pick up and dust off and make us veer off in the direction we're supposed to go in. I think there may have been a change of thought after this, oh gosh, that you've been kicking yourself in the butt over, where you're forced to just kind of stand at the crossroads for a second and be like, okay, all right, this is the direction I'm going to go in now because that direction didn't work. And I think this direction, this change, led you on a path to new, wonderful, and exciting things with this Ace of Pentacles. And I think that was your shining moment. You took the right fork. What did you have to let go of? Why is the sun reversed here? Ten of cups reversed. One more. Magician reversed. Could have been a Leo, could have been an Aries. You didn't get the fairy tale ending you wanted. Okay, fine. The person you're dealing with may have been manipulative. Could be, doesn't have to be. The magician is reversed though. So it either means you were dealing with a manipulative person or you just didn't manifest the ending that you wanted. Well, when the universe doesn't give you what you want, usually it's trying to give you what you need. So please keep that in mind. We don't always get our wish. But what we want isn't always what we need either. So bear with that. All right. Why is the three of pentacles reversed here for what Scorpio can expect out of this year? Thank you. Four swords. One more. Sun reversed. Some of you may be trying to force something possibly with an air sign person. foundation isn't being laid. And you're probably not happy about it because the sun's reversed again. Again, you could be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be. It's just the zodiac signs aren't important. I also have Aries on the board like three times here. And I have Aquarius on the board. So, and Scorpio. No, Capricorn. Sorry. Shadow side, devil, Capricorn. I got confused for a second. Forgive me. The signs aren't important. It's the energies coming off the card. What you can expect from this year. If you try to force it, it may not work out. You need to rest. You need to collect yourself. Why is the Queen of Cups here for the challenge? Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here for the challenge for Scorpio? Pardon me. 
Oh, goodness. What fell? Who fell? Where'd you go? Pardon me. It's a bit of a reach. I'm pretty tall. Come on. Okay. <sighs> queen of Swords reversed. Well, I'll be doing it. Two upside down queens. That can't be good. Can we get one more, please? I dropped you. You fell. King of Swords in the upright. Oh, we got another King of Swords on the board. Gee. Okay. The challenge is overcoming your emotions and possibly overcoming your ego. Your emotional knee-jerk reaction is just to emotionally close yourself off from it and cut whatever this is out of your life. But what you need to do is make a logical head over heart decision. So don't necessarily let your heart lead the way on this one because when a broken heart's trying to lead the way, um, it leads to more missteps. You have to look at this from a logical point of view, from a logical perspective. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here for how Scorpio can overcome the challenge? Thank you. Eight of Cups reversed. Huh, what? Seven of Cups reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. One more, please. Devil in the upright. <laughs> I got to have one more on that. Scorpio. Whoa. Page of Cups upright, Five of Cups reversed. Okay, I got it now. Some of you may be tempted to return to whatever this was, or try to, but you need to remember that this was not necessarily an okay connection. It was may have been hot and passionate, may have been. Well, some Sunday, you know what I'm saying. But it was potentially very toxic. And you need to remember that. You need to come out of the state of sadness that came along with this. So. And don't emotionally close yourself off. Give and receive love. Don't be so emotionally closed off. Don't keep good things out of your life just because you had your heart broken. History's not going to repeat itself here. Okay? That's how you overcome the challenge of emotionally closing yourself off. I dropped you. Why is the King of Swords here for the focus during this transition period? Logical, non-emotional choices. Hi. Ace of Wands reversed flew out. One more. Hey, 
Hangman reversed. <coughs> Another knee-jerk reaction. Human nature. Throw a band-aid on it! No. No. Don't throw a band-aid on this. Try to make pain go away. A band-aid only covers the wound. Sometimes you gotta let a, air, a wound air out so it'll heal. And scab over. You throw a band-aid on it. You keep others... Yeah, you keep stuff out. But do you really heal? You may just end up emotionally hung up on something else. How to handle the transition. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? Eight of Swords reversed. Nope. Well, maybe. It's the King of Pentacles. Now yeah, we'll keep it. One more. Tower reversed. Okay. There's new and exciting things coming. But you gotta trust yourself. Don't get all wrapped up in the emotions. Don't get all wrapped up in your thoughts of, oh my God, is this going to happen again? Love yourself first. Work on you first. Some of you may have a new and exciting offer coming for you that is going to be what it presents itself to be. Got a tower reversed here. That means allow the dust to settle before you rebuild the tower. So you had a tower fall apart. It happens. Rebuild the tower the way you want it. With someone or something that's solid. That you can trust. That is what it presents itself to be. But you gotta be willing to trust yourself and take the leap of faith. When you're ready. But God, don't throw a band-aid on it. Make sure it's not a band-aid. You know the difference. You know yourself, Scorpio. You know the difference between a quick fix band-aid and actually healing. That's why you give the dust time to settle. You know what I'm talking about. You know damn well what I'm talking about. I have a Scorpio Venus. Don't think. Big Mama don't know. Okay? All right. Oh, yes. The Four of Swords upright and the Two of Wands reversed. Rest. Think it through. Come back from the battle with your shield instead of on it. Don't stay stuck at the crossroads. Let go of the past and move forward. You came back from the battle with your shield. So now it's time to let go.
Mm-hmm. Okay. You need to regain control. Emperor reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Um, may want to avoid a little overindulgence. Whatever it is you do to make it better. Booze, drugs, chocolate. Binge watching John Hughes movies from the 80s. Eating cookie dough ice cream. You know, whatever it is you do, avoid doing it. Move forward. Is this really all you can do? Move forward with your cups full. Trust your instincts. You know the difference between a band aid and a solid offer. Trust your instincts. Go with your gut. You will know. And. Manage your inner demon. You have the strength within you. Alright, what's this deck have to say? Scorpio, this is going to be a long one. My goodness. Temperance and the Nine of Cups in the upright. Fill your own cup. Don't expect other people to do it for you. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the universe. Find balance. Oh, the high priestess came out again, and the world. Okay. Knight of Swords communication could be coming. You may be peeking in on each other's social media. I don't know. I'm not going to say keep doing that because this is the advice portion. But be open to communication. Honest communication. Take the good memories with you. And whatever lessons go with that, because it wasn't all bad, just because it didn't work out the way you wanted it to, and it wasn't what it presented itself to be, doesn't mean it was all bad. Trust your instincts. Go with your gut. You will know. And you have to allow old cycles to close out before you can expect new cycles to begin. You have to allow change. Okay? Your card is the death card. Your card is all about change. I love you guys. You know that. Oh, bottom of this deck. What was at the bottom? <gasps> Judgment. Right on. Again, allow It can't resurrect if it's not dead. You can't resurrect yourself and the new you coming out of this if you don't allow it to die. Okay, Scorpio, I love you guys. You guys have been amazing this last year and so supportive and so wonderful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Um... Let me know what you think in the comments. If you just want to talk, I'm always available for counsel. Shoot an email. If you're in want or in need of a personal reading, I do that too. And right now I only have one in the pipe, so I'm wide open. I can probably get it done within 24 hours. So let me know. Talk to you soon. Love you to bits. Catch you next time.